I'm Dr. Jason Pan, Principal Lecturer of the Department of Physics at the University of Hong Kong. My research is on the study of light pollution. I study the extent of light pollution in Hong Kong and the means to reduce it. I'm an astrophysicist in training. I adore the night sky. About 10 years ago, a bunch of amateur astronomers and I were coming across this situation where we found the night pollution really getting worse in Hong Kong. Hong Kong has one of the worst light pollution problem in the world. In Jim Sa Choi, in the middle of the city, the night light is over a thousand times brighter than an evening night without light pollution. And that's one of the record high in the world. Light pollution is the improper usage of lighting. It can be improper usage of the amount of light, improper direction, improper way of flashing the light improper hours of operations. Light pollution have many, many bad consequences. First, it could affect people's health. Second, it affects the ecological systems severely, in particular the nocturnal animals, and it contributes to the energy wastage in our city. To measure the amount of light pollution, we set up a network of light pollution monitoring stations around Hong Kong. Yeah, so this is our monitoring setup. That's how we set up uh, on the outdoors. So you can see the pole here with many measuring equipment. And basically, inside of this box, we have uh, something like here. On one side, we have a light pollution measuring meter, something like this. Through this meter, we can measure the night sky brightness. We have a total of 18 measuring stations. They take data continuously so that we have the light pollution conditions in real time. And these data collected will be fed back to the Hong Kong U webpage on light pollution so that people can access the light pollution situations real time. This reading will tell you the night sky brightness uh, at that particular moment, which is an indicator of light pollution. I started working with the Space Museum right from the beginning of the project. Um, they provided locations for our light pollution measuring meters to be installed. We worked together on knowledge exchange events to reach out to the general public and to school students, educating them of the negative consequences of light pollution. It, this is definitely a, a nice collaboration. Uh, because the university uh, you know, is focused on the, on the research, while the museum is a public museum, and we serve as a platform to communicate with the public, this is a picture taken before the so-called limit event in June 2009. You can see this cloud. Basically, there's a low-level cloud that is just lit up by the city buildings. And this is a picture taken after the event where uh, we have about a few thousand buildings turning off their lights. Normally, we expect the light pollution in the new territories areas to be uh, not that serious than the urban area. However, we find that in the new town centre, for example, where the most of them are residential area, we find that the sky brightness there is still much brighter than the dark sky standard. The light pollution in Hong Kong is severe, but there are easy solutions. First, we can reduce the number of lighting fixtures in Hong Kong. We can reduce the amount of light used in each lighting fixture. We can reduce the number of hours of operations uh, of these lightings. And finally, proper shielding. I think the hardest part is uh, not on the technology side, but on the human factors. Because many people do not aware that night pollution uh, is a serious problem. Because unlike the air pollution, their daily life and their health has not been affected, but actually the night pollution problem has become more and more serious. To solve the problem of light pollution, I believe we need the combined efforts of all the stakeholders in the society, in particular the government, the business community, the research communities, and the general public. This kind of knowledge exchange work uh, involves extensive public engagement, and public education, and it requires a strong commitment and persistent long-term effort of our researchers. But I think it is very um, uh, valuable. I believe the public is really positive towards the knowledge exchange message on light pollution. 
I recall about 10 years ago when we started the project, the public was, were questioning why we even bring up the phrase light pollution. They believe that Hong Kong is supposed to be bright. We are the pearl of the Orient. On the other hand, now we can see that the public really, really changed the perspective. They can see that the excessive amount of light is totally unnecessary and light pollution is reducing the quality of life. I believe there's a sweet spot of balance between maintaining Hong Kong standing as the Pearl of the Orient and reducing light pollution. It is about wastage. Hong Kong as an international city should show to the world that we can remain prosperous and also demonstrate as a good example to the world that we can also use light smartly and properly. What I hope with this project is to get the uh, night sky back so that people, when they turn their heads up, they can see thousands of stars, galaxies and planets like these. The spectacular night sky, this is a treasure shared by all humans.